Okay, good evening. Guten Abend. Let us begin with prayer. Lass uns mit Gebet anfangen. Dear Father in heaven, Lieber Vater im Himmel, Lord, we thank you that we can now open your word again. Herr, wir danken dir, dass wir wieder dein Wort öffnen können. We invite your presence to please uh, bless your word. Wir laden deine Gegenwart ein, dass du doch bitte dein Wort segnen mögest. Uh, that you would remind us of everything. Dass du uns an alles erinnerst. And that you would help us to understand all points. Und dass du uns hilfst, alle Punkte zu verstehen. And that you would open our minds uh, to see the great and Mighty things that we know not. Dass du unseren Verstand öffnest für die großen und mächtigen Dinge, die wir noch nicht kennen. Help us, Lord, and uh, bless us this evening. Hilf uns, Herr, und segne uns heute Abend. And we ask and pray all this in Jesus' name. Wir bitten und beten all dies in Jesu Namen. Amen. Amen. Okay, so, as usual, the notes on the last stream group. Wie gewöhnlich sind die Notizen in der Leistung. And uh, please open the notes. Und bitte öffnet die Notizen. We want to look at um, the crisis in Galilee. Wir wollen uns die Krise in Galiläa anschauen. And this is based upon John chapter 6. Right? Das ist basierend auf Johannes 6. So, but uh, first let's go to the first heading. Gehen wir jetzt zuerst zu der ersten Überschrift. About the two temple cleansings, that's what we looked at in this recent camp meeting. Über die zwei Tempelreinigungen, das haben wir uns auch im uh, dem camp meeting, uh, letzten camp meeting angeschaut. It says, when Jesus began his public ministry, he cleansed the temple from its sacrilegious profanation. Almost the last act of his ministry was to cleanse the temple again. So in the last work of the warning of the world, two distinct calls are made to the churches. Second angel's message and the voice heard in heaven come out of her, my people, for her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities. Okay, so <coughs> speaks about the two temple cleansings, yes? Da spricht über die zwei Tempelreinigungen. Where in Christ's ministry did he cleanse the temple? Und wo in Christi Dienst hat er den Tempel gereinigt? Yeah, so Sunday law, right? The first temple cleansing. Im Sonntagsgesetz ist die erste Tempelreinigung. And then here is the second one. Beim Kreuz, also da, hier ist die zweite Tempel. At the end of the sixth, right? Am Ende der sechsten Plage. Okay, good. And we looked at this, that these two temple cleansings that he did, they illustrate which judgment or which, yeah, which judgment that they illustrate. Wir haben uns das angeschaut, also diese zwei Tempelreinigungen, die er gemacht hat, welches Gericht stellt es dar? Executive. Executive, right? Das ausführende Gericht. So let's remind ourselves, let's go to this next quote. Zur Erinnerung gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. Das spricht hier über die erste Tempelreinigung. Das spricht hier über die erste Tempelreinigung. It says, we are not to drift into worldly channels. Consider the cleansing of the temple at the beginning of Christ's ministry and at the close of his life, his personal labors in the guise of humanity. Whom did he find intent on gain? The Jews had made the courts of the temple a scene of sacrilegious traffic. They had turned the ancient and sacred institution of the Passover into a means of vile profit. They bartered deep, turning the once sacred service instituted by Christ himself into worship of man. But Christ came suddenly into the temple courts. How did he come? He came in. Suddenly. Right? Divinity flashed through humanity, and raising a whip, of small cords in his hand, with a voice that will, they will hear again in the execution of the judgment. Which judgment? Welches Gericht? Execution judgment. Das ausführende Gericht. He said, take these things hence. It is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. These priests and rulers saw it, uh, saw as it, it, it excuse me, saw as it were an avenging angel with a flaming sword, such as guarded the way to the tree of life. Right, and we know then he, they fled away and to hide themselves. Okay? Wir wissen, sie sind weggeflohen, um sich zu verbergen. So, this was then the separation of two classes. Das war dann die Trennung der zwei Klassen. Okay, so, but that would be here, right, the Sunday law. Das okay? wäre aber hier beim Sonntagsgesetz. And let's go to Matthew 25 in the Bible. 
gehen wir in der Bibel zu Matthäus 25. Vers 1 to 4. Verse 1 bis 4. Or even down to 5, we can read. Oder doch bis Vers 5. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. So, going forth of the virgins was August 11th, 1840. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Okay, so here we know the bridegroom tarried was the first disappointment, right? Wir wissen, wir, der Bräutigam verzögerte sich, das war die erste Enttäuschung. And this was the first manifestation of wise and foolish virgins. Das war die erste Manifestation der törichten und weisen Jungfrauen. And let's look at this next quote that she describes this. Wir schauen uns jetzt das nächste Zitat an, dort beschreibt sie das. Speaking about the first disappointment. Das spricht über die erste Enttäuschung. It says, Jesus and all the heavenly host looked with sympathy and love upon those who had with sweet expectation longed to see him with a, whom their souls loved. Angels were hovering around them to sustain them in the hour of their trial. Those who had neglected to receive the heavenly message were left in darkness, and God's anger was kindled against them because they would not receive the light which he had sent them from heaven. Those faithful disappointment ones who could not understand why the Lord did not come were not left in darkness. Again, they were led to the Bibles to search the prophetic periods. The hand of the Lord was removed from the figures and the mistake was explained. They saw that the prophetic periods reached to 1844 and that the same evidence which they had presented to show that the prophetic periods closed in 1843 proved that they would terminate in 1844. Light from the word of God shone upon their position and they discovered a tearing time. Right? So, <coughs> Pavis speaks about this disappointment here. Er spricht da über diese Enttäuschung. When they know the bridegroom tarried and they all slumbered and slept. Als der Bräutigam sich verzögerte und sie alle äh, schlummerten und schliefen. Okay. So, <coughs> but what does the Lord say here? What happened then? Aber was sagt der Herr? Was With geschah da? One group of people. Mit einer Gruppe von Leuten. In yeah, they were left in darkness and God's anger kindled against them, right? Sie wurden in Finsternis gelassen und Gottes Zorn hat sich über sie entfacht. See in the, the third sentence. Okay. Das steht hier im dritten Satz. It says, those who had neglected to receive the heavenly message were left in darkness. So, neglected where? Uh, wo haben sie es vernachlässigt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where? Yeah, where, did, where did they neglect to receive? The heavenly message, and therefore they were no left in darkness. Here, yeah, right? Also here, have they vernachlässigt die Botschaft? Because Botschaft the virgins went forth, five were wise, five were foolish. Okay. Die Jungfrauen ging vorwärts, fünf waren weise, fünf töricht. Those that didn't gather the oil in here, they were left in darkness here. Right? Diejenigen, die das Öl hier drinnen nicht gesammelt haben, wurden hier in Finsternis gelassen. This is why it says those that rejected the first angel's message were not benefited by the Second, right? Und weil sagt diejenigen, die die erste Engelsbotschaft verworfen haben, konnten keinen Nutzen von der zweiten haben. So those that never really received the first, they now rejected hear the message when it, the second when it came. Diejenigen, die nie die Botschaft richtig gehalten haben, haben dann diese zweite hier verworfen, als sie kam. Okay. So and it says yeah, God's anger kindled against them, right? Ich sag Gottes Zorn hat sich gegen sie entfacht. So they were cleansed out like Christ cleansed out the money changes. Okay. So therefore we can see here a group that turns here from the truth. Okay. And God's anger is now kindled against them. Uh, we also saw in the here in the, the parables this morning how God is angry, right? Okay, though it's in a different place on the line, but still you can see that this marks when he 
rejects you. Okay. Also das wäre an einem anderen Ort auf der Linie, aber man kann dasselbe Prinzip sehen, dass es, wenn er dich verwirft. Okay, now let's go to this next heading. Gehen wir zur nächsten Überschrift. Picking a king. Ein König wählen. And with this quote here, I just want to show this picking of a king. Okay, I just want to show, because I don't know if it marks the same point on the line as the other pickings as we, that we will look at. Also mit diesem Zitat ähm, bin ich mir jetzt nicht sicher, ob das derselbe Punkt auf der Linie ist, aber ich möchte einfach nur das Prinzip zeigen, dass sie einen König gewählt haben. That speaks now about the first general conference president here. Okay. Das spricht über den ersten Generalskonferenzpräsidenten. It says in May 1863, representatives of the Sabbath-keeping Adventists were sent to Battle Creek for the first general conference session. Twenty dele delegates came representing six conferences. An ex executive committee of three was named. Elder John Byington on May 21st was chosen the first president of the general conference. So what did they do? What have they done? They, they picked the king, right? They have a king. Okay. Uh, actually, there were only uh, 20. No, but that says and an executive committee of three was named. Maybe it was from that yeah, 20. Yeah, it was from the 20, yeah. yeah. I remember we looked at this years ago and we all realized, oh, came to wrong conclusions back then. But anyways, yeah, they, they picked the king here. Okay. Also, damals haben wir gedacht, das wären diese 24 äh, Männer, aber vielleicht waren diese drei, die sie gewählt haben, von diesen 20. Also es war eine falsche Schlussfolgerung. Aber auf jeden Fall können wir sehen, dass ähm, sie einen König gewählt haben. Okay, good. And um, where else do we see this? Wo noch sehen wir das? So, let's just go to John chapter 6 now. Gehen wir zu Johannes 6. And in the first 14 verses, it's this, this uh, story about multiplying the bread. In the first 14 verses is the Geschichte of this bread vermehrung. Uh, feeding the 5,000. This Speisung der 5,000. Now in verse 14 it says, in Vers 14 sagt es, Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth that prophet that should come into the world. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. So what did they want to do with him? Was wollten sie mit ihm tun? Make him a king. Make him a king, right? Ein König machen. Okay, so let's see other illustrations where they want to make a king. Schauen wir uns andere Darstellungen an, wo sie einen König wählen wollen. Let's go to Numbers chapter 14. Gehen wir zu 4. Mose 14. And let's begin in verse 1. Wir fangen in Vers 1 an. Down to verse 4. Bis Vers 4. When after the, the spies came back and 10 gave this evil report. Das war nachdem diese Spione zurückkam und 10 haben diesen bösen Bericht gegeben. Says and all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, would God that we had died in the land of Egypt, or would God that we had died in this wilderness? And wherefore hath the Lord brought us unto this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return into Egypt? And they said one to another, Let us make a captain and let us return into Egypt. So what do they do? Was tun sie? Yeah, they make themselves a king, right? Sie machen sich einen König. To return back to Egypt. Um wieder nach Ägypten zurückzukehren. And we looked at this, right? So they come out of Egypt here. Wir haben uns das angeschaut. Hier kommen sie aus Ägypten. Then they're two years in Sinai, right? Dann sind sie zwei Jahre in Sinai. 
And then here comes the rebellion at Kadesh Barnea. Right? Here comes the rebellion by Kadesh Barnea. In 1863 also was a rebellion. Yeah, in 1863 was also a rebellion, exactly. And 1863 was also a rebellion. So here they pick a king to return back to Egypt. Okay? Also here they pick a king to return back to Egypt. Also here they pick a king to return back to Egypt. Good. And prophetically, that's also true because what is Satan trying to do here with you? Prophetisch ist das auch richtig, weil was will Satan mit dir tun? Yeah, exactly. To bring you back into bondage, right? You came out of bondage here, and now he wants to bewitch you to finish the work in the flesh. Right? Also er will, dass du die vergangene Erfahrung verwirrst, dass weil hier bist du aus Ägypten rausgekommen und hier will er dich wieder nach Ägypten zurückführen. Also will ich wieder in die Knechtschaft des Fleisches. Yeah, he wants to bewitch you to finish the work in the flesh. Okay? Also er will dich verzaubern, dass du ihm das im Fleisch endest, das Werk im Fleisch. Und 1863, da haben sie die 2520 verworfen und äh, das markiert ja eigentlich den Punkt, wo sie aus der Knechtschaft kam. The, the, the 2520 marked uh, that they came out of bondage, but now they rejected this and they Went back into bondage. Also die 2520 markiert, als sie aus der Knechtschaft rauskamen, aber jetzt, wo sie sie verworfen haben, kamen sie wieder zurück in die Knechtschaft. Yes, and they made this, this third chart, right? Und sie haben diese dritte Karte gemacht. So they added to, to God's two tables. Okay. Sie haben also zu Gottes zwei Tafeln hinzugefügt. Okay, so we can see all these points and when you also go to 1 Samuel chapter 8, wir können all diese Punkte sehen und gehen wir auf zu 1. Samuel 8. And let's begin verse 1. Wir fangen in Vers 1 an. It says, 1 Samuel 8, Vers 1. 1. Samuel 8, Vers 1. Says, and it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second Abiah. They were judges in Bathsheba, and his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after locker, and took bribes and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah, and said unto him, Behold, Thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. So what did they do here? Was haben sie getan? Wanted a king. Wanted a king, right? König. It was a rebellion. Okay. Es war eine rebellion. Because it says now, Was sagt jetzt? Um, verse 7. Verse 7. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee, for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. Okay, so they are rebelled against God. Right? Sie haben jetzt gegen Gott rebelliert. Okay, so <coughs> therefore we can see this rebellion always marks here the you know, turn to man and not to God anymore. Okay. Wir können also sehen, diese Rebellion hier ist, dass sie sich zum Menschen wenden und nicht zu Gott. That's that man right, right there. Yeah, the man of sin. Und das ist dieser Mensch der Sünde. Statue, yeah. Dieses Standbild. Okay, so, and it marks this rebellion, they want to pick a king. Okay. Das markiert eben diese Rebellion, sie wollen einen König wählen. And that's also what we could see in John chapter 6, if you turn back there. Okay. Das könnten wir auch in Johannes 6 lesen, wenn wir da nochmal zurückgehen. That they wanted to make Jesus king here in verse 15. Wir wollten Jesus einen König machen in Vers 15. Let's read it again. Lesen wir das nochmal. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into the mountain himself alone. So, <coughs> therefore I want to suggest uh, that here this crisis in Galilee would mark this rebellion here. Okay. Deswegen möchte ich vorschlagen, dass die Krise in Galiläa diese Rebellion hier markiert. Okay, and we know that he makes this long speech about he is the bread from heaven, eat my flesh, drink my blood, and you have no life in you, and all these things. Wir wissen, dass er dann diese lange Rede macht, wo er eben darüber spricht, dass er das Brot des Himmels ist und man soll sein Fleisch 
Fleisch essen und sein Blut trinken und all diese Dinge. And what was the reaction of the heroes? Und was war die Reaktion der Hörer? Yeah, they, they rejected it and they left, right? Die meisten, also die haben das verworfen und sind weggegangen. So let's read this here. Lesen wir das hier. So um, let's begin verse uh, 59. Fangen wir in Vers 59 an. Mm -hmm. John 666. Yes. Okay. So verse 59. Vers 59. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying, who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? What, and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are Spirit and they are life. So, he clearly marks now that he, yeah, only those that are spiritual will continue, right? And we saw that all those that are fleshly minded, they want to king. And they want to go back to Egypt, right? So they want to again eat the flesh pots of Egypt. They want to they reject the manna. Okay? And verse 64. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said therefore... Uh, and he said, therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. So this is when now the majority of his followers leave, right? Also jetzt verlassen ihn die Mehrheit seiner Nachfolger. So, and that would be this, this first temple cleansing. Das okay? wäre diese erste Tempelreinigung. And that's where the majority of this movement. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. Und Die Mehrheit dieser Bewegung ist da weggegangen. Because that would be parallel to 2014, right? Weil das wäre eine Parallele zu 2014. So they left and went into darkness. Okay. Sie sind weggegangen und in Finsternis Walk gegangen. Walked no more. Walked no more with him. Yes. Sie sind nicht okay. mehr länger mit ihm gewandelt. And it goes on to say 67 to 71. Und Vers 67 bis 71. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. So he's pointing forward. Yes. Okay. The next temple. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, he cleanses out a group here, but what is still left now? Judas. Yeah, Judas. So it's still two classes are left, right? Judas. Also, es gibt immer noch zwei Klassen übrig. That's all the virgins that now still go forth here, but among them is again two classes, and they manifest at the second temple cleansing at the midnight cry. Das sind eben diese zwei Klassen von Jungfrauen und also es gibt noch welche äh, Touristen übrig. I mean here, right? You have wise and foolish go forth, right? The foolish get manifested. Okay. Also die Touristen und die Weisen gehen hier voran, aber also hier werden sie manifestiert. The foolish. Die Touristen yeah. werden manifestiert. They leave, okay. Sie verlassen. But of those wise, there are now again two classes among them. And they manifest here. Okay. Aber unter ihnen gibt es immer noch zwei Klassen und sie werden dann hier manifestiert. Okay, there's a quote that says the two classes are one in abandonment of the faith, the other one waiting for clearer light. Mm -hmm. Is this not sure this is where Judas first decided he was going to... Yes, exactly. So that now he's in abandonment of his faith, right? Mm -hmm. So he he's representing this foolish. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Also es sagt in dem Zitat, wenn sie schlafen, Die einen, die sind, äh, verlassen ihren Glauben und die anderen äh, warten geduldig auf äh, größeres Licht. Und ähm, dort hatte Judas eigentlich zum ersten Mal dann entschieden, dass er äh, verraten würde. Und deswegen er stellt jetzt die Türrichten da, 
die ähm, ihren Glauben verlassen. Yes, um, it says what speaks about it in this chapter, the crisis in Galilee, okay, in the Zion of Ages. Ein Wald spricht darüber in dem Kapitel von der Krise von Galiläa in Leben Jesu. And there she speaks about that Judas was the first time there realizing that he will not gain anything worldly from Jesus and that he began to develop these thoughts. Okay. Und da spricht er wird darüber, dass Judas dann zum ersten Mal also erkannt hat, dass er von Jesus nichts weltliches gewinnen wird und dann hat er ähm, diese Gedanken ah, angefangen diese Gedanken zu reden. Okay. Good. And uh, so let's go now to this chapter by Sis White, but I only copied out the last few paragraphs of it. Gehen wir zu dem Kapitel von Ellen White und ich habe jetzt aber nur die letzten paar Absätze rauskopiert. But let's read those. Lass uns das lesen. And she says here, by looking constantly to Jesus with the eye of faith, we shall be strengthened. God will make the most precious revelations, revelations to his hungering, thirsting people. They will find that Christ is a personal savior. As they feed upon his word, they find that it is spirit and life. The word destroys the natural, earthly nature and imparts a new life in Christ Jesus. And so it's interesting. She says the word destroys our earthly nature. Okay. It's interesting. It says here that the word destroys our earthly nature. And imparts a new life in Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit comes to a soul as a comforter. By the transforming agency of his grace, the image of God is reproduced in the disciple. He becomes a new creature. Love takes pl the place of hatred, and the heart receives the divine similitude. This is what it means to live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. This is eating the bread that comes down from heaven. So Christ basically pointed them and said, you must be born again. Okay? Christus hat sie im Grunde darauf hingewiesen, dass sie im neuem geboren werden müssen. But what did all these people believe already in 2014? Was haben all die Leute in 2014 schon left. geglaubt, die already. verlassen? Yeah, they already said, oh, we are already born again, yeah, we can do already the work. Okay. Also die weggegangen sind, die haben gesagt, wir sind schon neu geboren, wir können schon das Werk tun. So they didn't receive the reproof that they had to be born again. Okay. Also sie haben nicht diesen Tadel empfangen, dass sie von neuem geboren sein müssen. Next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. Christ had spoken a sacred eternal truth regarding the relation between himself and his followers. He knew the character of those who claimed to be his disciples, and his words tested their faith. And so it was a, a test now to them. Okay. He declared that they were to... And were they tested here on April 19? Yes. Um, he declared that they were to believe and act upon his teaching. All who received him would partake of his nature and become conformed to his character. This involved the relinquishment of their cherished ambitions. Uh, so we understand uh, that would be then here when you have this born again experience at the end, right? But you must accept this path. Okay. Und, um, wir verstehen, dass es dann am Ende ist, wenn du diese Neugeburtserfahrung hältst, aber du musst eben diesen Pfad. Um, many don't want to accept this. Okay. Viele wollen das nicht akzeptieren. It says, it required a complete surrender of themselves to Jesus. They were called to become self-sacrificing, meek and lowly in heart. They must walk in the narrow path traveled by the man of Calvary, if they would share in the gift of life and the glory of heaven. The test was too great. The enthusiasm of those who had sought to take him by force and make him king grew cold. This discourse in the synagogue, discourse. They, uh, this discourse in the synagogue, they declared, had opened their eyes. Now they were undeceived. Uh, that's also what Judas, at the end, declared about himself, right? That's what Judas am Ende über sich verkündet. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All diejenigen, mm -hmm. das haben all diejenigen um, gesagt, die hier weggegangen sind. Das hat auch Satan Eva versprochen. Yes, uh, everybody that left up said, ah, now I'm undeceived. Okay. Und jeder, der also weggegangen ist, hat gesagt, jetzt bin ich nicht mehr getäuscht. Uh, in their minds, his words were a direct confession that he was not the Messiah and that no earthly rewards were to be realized from connection with him. They had welcomed his miracle working power. They were eager to be freed from disease and suffering. 
but they would not come into sympathy with a self-sacrificing life. They cared not for the mysterious spiritual kingdom of which he spoke. The insincere, the selfish, who had sought him no longer desired him. If he would not devote his power and influence to obtain their freedom from the Romans, they would have nothing to do with him. Next paragraph. Next episode. Jesus told them plainly, <clears throat> There are some of you that believe not, adding, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. He wished them to understand that if they were not drawn to him, it was because their hearts were not open to the Holy, uh, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. It is by faith that the soul holds, uh, beholds the glory of Jesus. This glory is hidden until, through the Holy Spirit, faith is kindled in the soul. By the public rebuke of their unbelief, these disciples were still further alienated from Jesus. They were greatly displeased, and wishing to wound the Savior and gratify the malice of the Pharisees, they turned their backs upon him and left him with disdain. They had made their choice, had taken the form without the spirit, the husk without the kernel. Their decision was never afterward reversed, for they walked no more with Jesus. Okay, so it was a temple cleansing. Okay. Es war eine Tempelreinigung. So they left and for good. Okay. Sie haben ihn dann äh, verlassen. Für immer. Yeah. Für immer verlassen. And hopefully, for, uh, for those that left 2014, this was only a type that they might still have a chance. But in the Sunday law, they will go. Okay. Und hoffentlich diejenigen, die 2014 weggegangen sind. Ähm, also hoffentlich haben sie noch eine Chance und dann zurückkommen, aber in, bei St. Typus war beim Sonntagsgesetz, da wird das so sein. Okay, because we also saw April 19, uh, they left and God's anger kindled against them, right? Wir haben gesehen, am 19. April, da, um, also die, die weggegangen sind, die wurden in Finsternis gelassen, Gottes Zorn ist über sie entfacht worden. Okay, because they reject the Holy Spirit there, because the Holy Spirit was poured out there, right, in power. Weil sie haben den Heiligen Geist verworfen, weil hier wurde der Heilige Geist mit Kraft ausgegossen. Okay, next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor, and gather his wheat into the garner. This was one of the times of purging. What was it? Was okay. was? One of the times of purging. Eine okay. der Zeiten des Reinigens. So there are more than one purging, okay? Also mehr als eine Zeit der Reinigung. Two temple cleansings, right? So, by the words of truth, the chaff was being separated from the wheat. So that's like the separation of the two classes, right? Temple cleansing. Because they were too vain and self-righteous to receive reproof, too world-loving to accept the life of humility, many turned away from Jesus. Many are still doing the same thing. Souls are tested today as were those disciples in the synagogue at Capernaum. When truth is brought home to the heart, they see that their lives are not in accordance with the will of God. They see the need of an entire change in themselves, but they are not willing to take up the self-denying work. Therefore they are angry when their sins are discovered. They go away offended, even as the disciples left Jesus, murmuring, This is a hard saying, who can hear it? Praise and flattery would be pleasing to their ears, but the truth is unwelcome. They cannot hear it. When the crowds follow, and the multitudes are fed, and the shouts of triumph are heard, their voices are loud in praise. But when the searching of God's Spirit reveals their sin and bids them leave it, they turn their backs upon the truth and walk no more with Jesus. Okay, so, searching eyes, right? Diese durchforschenden Augen. So, but they then decided not to go further anymore. Und dann haben sie sich entschieden, nicht mehr weiterzugehen. And now it says here in the next, next paragraph. Nächster Absatz sagt es. As those disaffected disciples turned away from Christ, a different spirit took control of them. And this is what we could witness here also, right? Those that left, totally different spirit 
to control of them. Das konnten wir auch bezeugen, diejenigen, die von hier weggegangen sind, ein ganz anderer Geist hat die Kontrolle über sie verlagt. Uh, not only those that left, I mean here this ministry, but those that leave this movement, right? Also nicht nur die, die dieses Ministry verlassen haben, sondern die die Bewegung verlassen. So they are suddenly they are, they don't want to speak to you anymore. They they have no interest whatsoever in communication with you anymore. Plötzlich wollen sie nicht mehr mit dir reden und haben kein Interesse mit dir zu kommunizieren. And the reason is in the next sentence. Der also Grund ist im nächsten Satz. They could see nothing attractive in him whom they had once found so interesting. Right? So once they reject the message they don't see anything interesting in the message anymore. You know, the once they said ah oh, such a nice message, but now they don't see anything interesting in it, in it anymore. Also, wenn sie das verworfen haben, dann finden sie nichts mehr Interessantes an der Botschaft, weil einst haben sie gesagt, oh, das ist so interessant, und jetzt äh, finden sie es nicht mehr interessant. They sought out his enemies. What did they do? Was haben sie gemacht? They now joined the enemies, right? Jetzt haben sie sich den Feinden angeschlossen. Ja. Yeah. So, this is what we could see, even here in our close Fellowship, right? Das konnten wir auch hier sehen in unserer engen Gemeinschaft. Yeah, all those that rejected here these, the truth, they all joined together in some degree. Right? All diejenigen, die die Wahrheit verworfen haben, haben sich eben verschlossen, äh, zusammengeschlossen im bestimmten Maß. And they sought out his enemies, for they were in harmony with their spirit and work. They misinterpreted his words, falsified his statements, and impugned his motives. That's all coming. Yes. Das kommt noch alles. They sustained the course by gathering up the every item that they could be turned against him. And such indignation was stirred up by these false reports that his life was in danger. Yeah, so this is this coming. Okay. Das kommt. So the news spread swiftly that by his own confession Jesus of Nazareth was not the Messiah. And thus in Galilee the current of popular feeling was turned against him as the year before it had been in Judea. Alas for Israel, they rejected their savior because they longed for a conqueror who would give them temporal power. They wanted the meat which perishes and not that which endures unto everlasting life. With a yearning heart, Jesus saw those who had been his disciples departing from him, the life and the light of man. The conscience Consciousness that consciousness. And the consciousness, thank you, that his compassion was unappreciated, his love unrequited, his mercy slighted, his salvation rejected, filled him with sorrow that was inexpressible. It was such developments as these that made him a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Without attempting to hinder those who were leaving him, Jesus turned to the twelve and said, Will ye also go away? Peter replied by asking, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, he added, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. So these are now those, in spite of the disappointment, said, no, it was God that led us out so far and it's the truth. Right? Das sind diejenigen, die trotz der Enttäuschung dann sagen, nein, es war Gott, der uns so weit geführt hat und ähm, this message is the truth. Okay. Diese Botschaft ist die Wahrheit. Okay, so they hold on and they continue. Okay. Sie halten also fest und gehen weiter. Next paragraph. Okay, next Absatz. To whom shall we go? And that's all what we also can say, right? Das we know wir. where else shall we go now? Okay. Das können wir auch alle sagen, wo sollen wir sonst hingehen? And we know that this message is the truth and there's nothing out there that where we can go, right? Okay. Apart from this message. Wir wissen, dass diese Botschaft die Wahrheit ist und es gibt nichts da draußen, wohin wir gehen könnten, ähm, äh, es sei denn hier bei außerhalb dieser, dieser Botschaft. Außerhalb dieser Botschaft. So, to whom shall we go? The teachers of Israel were slaves to formalism. So, you cannot go back to the church, okay? Du kannst also nicht zurück zur Gemeinde gehen. The Pharisees and Sadducees were in constant contention. To leave Jesus was to fall among sticklers for rites and ceremonies an ambitious man who sought their own glory. The disciples had found more peace and joy since they had accepted Christ than in all their previous lives. How could they go back to those who had scorned and persecuted the friend of sinners? Yeah. 
is how can we go back to where we came from? Right? Wie könnten wir zurück zu dem gehen, woher wir kamen? Uh, that would be just a denial of our savior. Das right? wäre nur ein Verleugnen unseres Retters. They had long been looking for the Messiah. Now he had come, and they could not turn from his presence to those who were hunting his life and had persecuted them for becoming his followers. To whom shall we go? Not from the teaching of Christ, his lessons of love and mercy, to the darkness of unbelief, the wickedness of the world. While the Savior was forsaken by many who had witnessed his wonderful works, Peter expressed the faith of the disciples. Thou art that Christ, the very thought of losing his anchor, or this anchor of their souls, filled them with fear and pain. So true, right? When you think about it, to leave this message is just like this. Okay. Das ist so wahr, wenn man darüber nachdenkt, diese Botschaft zu verlassen, dann ist es genauso wie hier, das ist einfach ähm, ja, furchteinflößend. Furchteinflößen. To be destitute of a savior was to be adrift on a dark and stormy sea. Many of the words and acts of Jesus appear mysterious to finite minds. But every word and act had its definite purpose in the work of, for our redemption. Each was calculated to produce its own result. If we were capable of understanding his purposes, all would appear important, complete and in harmony with his mission. While we cannot now comprehend the works and ways of God, we can discern his great love, which underlies all his dealings with men. He who lives near to Jesus will understand much of the mystery of godliness. He will recognize the mercy that administers reproof, that tests the character and brings to light the purpose of the heart. Last paragraphs. When Jesus presented the testing truth that caused so many of his disciples to turn back, he knew what would be the result of his words. But he had a purpose of mercy to fulfill. He foresaw that in the hour of temptation, every one of his beloved disciples would be severely tested. His agony in Gethsemane, his betrayal and crucifixion would be to them a most trying ordeal. Had no previous test been given, many who were actuated by merely selfish motives would have been connected with them. So Jesus knew there would be this Final test at the end, right? Jesus wusste, dass am Ende dieser finale Test kommen würde. And therefore, he had to bring a previous test, she says here, in order to cleanse out all those insincere ones. Und deswegen musste er einen vorherigen Test bringen, um all die unaufrichtigen hinauszureinigen. When the Lord was condemned in the judgment hall, when the multitude had nailed him as the uh, had hailed him as the king, hissed at him and reviled him, when the jeering crowd, crowd uh, cried, "Crucify him!" When the worldly ambitions were disappointed, these self-seeking ones would, by renouncing their allegiance to Jesus, have brought upon the disciples a bitter, heart-burdening sorrow, in addition to their grief and disappointment in the ruin of their fondest hopes. In that hour of darkness, the example of those who turned from him might have carried others with them. But Jesus brought about this crisis, while, by his personal presence, he could still strengthen the faith of his true followers. So, how does she call it here? Crisis. A crisis. Right? Eine Krise. And this is why she has many quotes, I didn't put them, uh, look them up now, but she has quotes where she says the Sunday law is a crisis. Okay. And uh, Melanie Wald has many Zitate, I have not yet hervorgeholt, but she says that the Sonntagsgesetz is a crisis. Yeah, so, the Sunday law is a crisis, but also the destruction of Jerusalem. It's right? a crisis. Sonntagsgesetz. Yeah. Es ist eine Krise, mm. aber auch die Zerstörung von Jerusalem ist eine große Krise. So, these two temple cleansings, you know, these two, uh, two crises where Jesus cleanses out the money changers. Die zwei Tempelreinigungen sind also diese zwei Krisen, wo uh, Christus yeah, die Geldwechsel rausreinigt. In the same principle, you know, when, when the, at the Last Supper, Judas goes out and afterwards says here, um, by his personal presence, he could still strengthen the faith of his true followers. Because it was after Judas went out, he gave them, he could speak clearly to them, right? Light. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know if it's exact same principle, but I mean, it's true that as long as they were in there, he could not teach them as if they would 
Bist du da? Okay. Also, das war das. Äh, okay, das ist, das ist da also, es war das. Ähm, er, solange diese äh, Falschen dabei sind, kann er sie nicht so richtig lehren, wie er möchte. Also, so wie ähm, als Judas beim letzten äh, Abendmahl noch dabei war. But what she said, uh, as, all, as I understand it, is that she says here, okay, he brought about this crisis and uh, he didn't wait until the end to bring it because now uh, there was still this time of preparation then given for this final crisis. Okay. Ja, wie ich das verstehe, ist, dass sie hier sagt, dass er diese Krise hier herbeigeführt hat ähm, und nicht gewartet hat bis zu dieser Krise, damit sie hier noch diese Vorbereitungszeit haben konnten. Yes. Okay, last paragraph. Letzter Absatz. Compassionate Redeemer, who in the full knowledge of the doom that awaited him, tenderly smoothed the way for the disciples, prepared them for the crowning trial and strengthened them for the final test. Okay, so all this crisis in Galilee was therefore preparation for the crowning trial, the final test. Also okay. diese ganze Krise in Galiläa, das war so diese ähm, der Vorbereitung für diese krönende Prüfung des finalen Tests. Okay, good. So that was the thought I wanted to share this evening. Das okay. war der Gedanke, den ich heute Abend teilen wollte. But therefore we can see basically uh, this first temple cleansing illustrated in, on April 19th. Wir können also sehen, diese erste Tempelreinigung wurde am 19. April dargestellt. But also then here in the crisis in Galilee. Aber okay. auch in der Krise von Galiläa. And it was illustrated 2014 in this movement. Und das okay. wurde 2014 in dieser Bewegung dargestellt. And we can see yeah, that therefore 2014 was not a small thing. Okay. Wir können sehen, 2014 war daher keine kleine Sache. But people really turned their back on Christ and at least up to now nobody who was rejecting the message in 2014 is now back to the truth. Okay. Also Leute haben wirklich Christus ähm, verworfen und ähm, jetzt kann man sehen, also niemand, der 2014 die Botschaft verlassen hat, ist bis jetzt zurückgekommen. So hopefully since uh, in our time there was not yet an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, maybe they still have a chance, but We will see. Okay. Also in unserer Zeit war ja keine Ausgießung des Heiligen Geistes, deswegen vielleicht haben sie noch eine Möglichkeit zurückzukehren, aber wir werden das sehen. So, and it shows us over and over again, it's not a light thing to have accepted this message, to understand the, the truth and then turn the back on it. Okay. Wir können immer wieder sehen, dass es keine leichte Sache ist, dass man diese Botschaft äh, angenommen und verstanden hat und sich dann dem Rücken der Botschaft zuwendet. Mm -hmm. Going back into Egypt, going back where we came from. Dass wir zurück nach Ägypten gehen, zurück wo wir hergekommen sind. Mm. And joining then the ranks of the enemies of the truth. Okay. Dass wir uns den Reihen der Feinde der Wahrheit anschließen. So, and therefore, yeah, this should put some fear in our hearts, okay? Das sollte Furcht in unser Herz liegen. Would, and that we really would consider our decisions we make. Okay. Dass wir wirklich unsere Entscheidungen, die wir treffen, in Betracht ziehen. And that we would not trifle and parley with the devil when he wants to persuade us to go back to Egypt. Okay. Dass wir nicht mit dem Teufel spielen und ähm, ja, also wenn er uns versucht äh, zu überzeugen, wieder zurück nach Ägypten zu gehen. There's only one way for us and that is going forward to the mark of the high calling. Es okay. gibt nur einen Weg für uns und das ist vorwärts zu gehen zu diesem äh, Zeichen unserer hohen Berufung. Amen. Amen. Okay. Then let us close with prayer. Then let us with the Gebet abschließen.